Hello, my name is Steve Floyd, shop foreman at Interconnect Wiring. Today we're going to be talking about how to plug a connector on an F16 cockpit panel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to correctly plug a connector that will eventually be installed on an F-16 cockpit panel. Prior to that, we want to crimp our contacts onto the bare conductor of our wires that we remove the insulation from. I've already went ahead and done the first five, so that way we can see one in the process before we plug our connector. The first thing we want to do is align our contact barrel with the open conductor of the wire. that should line up flush. With the contact barrel, our crimp tool is a standard M22520 slant 1-01, with our positioner being a 1-04. The settings on this tool are extremely important because it determines the depth at which the teeth are going to crimp the contact barrel. We have our setting on a red, which is 20 gauge. That's gonna fit the contact barrel in order to make a proper crimp. The crimp tool settings on this tool are extremely important. We have our red 20 gauge setting, and we also go based off of this chart here on the position tool. We wanna to make sure that it's the correct setting to crimp the contact at an adequate depth, so that way that contact barrel doesn't come off of the wire while in flight. We're gonna insert our contact into the tool's barrel. Squeeze the handles together. This is a ratcheting based tool system, meaning you have to squeeze the handles all the way together in order for it to release. Once it releases, then you can verify and inspect your contact to be sure that it meets the ad adequate requirements for the engineering and manufacturing of F-16 wiring harnesses. The next step is gonna be to plug the contact into the connector cavities. Each of these connector cavities are designated with either a letter or a number. That's extremely important for continuity and electrical integrity of the wiring harness. We're going to start first by using our insertion and extraction tool. Line the wire up into the insertion side of the insertion tool. This is going to be the red side of the insertion tool. For this example, we're just going to go ahead and install it into a connector cavity. You want to start with a little leverage on the insertion tool so that way not to damage the wire or subsequent contact. Press firmly down, then remove the insertion tool. You're going to want to pull on that wire, but not too hard, with your index finger and thumb to be sure that it locks into the connector cavity. Here's an example of what the connector looks like when all the contacts are plugged into each corresponding connector cavity. The next thing we want to do is verify that each of those contacts were what we call seated in the connector cavity. We start by rolling it around and looking and verifying, making sure that those contacts are seated, and we're going to do one final pull check to verify that each of those contacts are in fact seated in its respective cat. Here's a completed product of what we just terminated on our cockpit panel. It's built for the heads up display for the pilot in the aircraft. Thanks for watching and tuning in. We are Interconnect Wiring. Be sure to check out our website for more future vlogs and updates.